force we are about to discuss is normal reaction whenever two surfaces are in contact they pushes each other with the force called normal reaction it acts perpendicular to the common surface or the area which is in contact pushing they are pushing in nature let's say a and b are two blocks placed on a horizontal surface so what a is experiencing is a pushing force from b okay this is force on a by b so what b will experience b will experience the same force which is on b by a obviously but it will also in it is also in contact with the ground so it will experience one more normal from the ground again ground will try to push him this is n dash on b from ground okay by ground okay and ground will also experience force from b because b is in contact with the ground so normal n dash by oh, on ground by b so these are the normal reaction forces on a b and ground similarly on this this sphere will experience a force from this surface again this surface will try to uh, push it and this surface will also try to push it like this so there will be two normal reactions n1 and n2 from the surface and one weight we already know that mg which is vertically down so we can also say that these walls will experience equal and opposite normal reactions this normal reaction is from uh, on sphere by wall 1 and this will be on sphere by wall 2 okay so we will also we can also see that there will be equal normal reactions on wall 2 by sphere and this is on wall 1 by sphere so this is how normal reaction acts and the last important force is spring force k is the spring constant x is the elongation in or compression in the spring okay so natural uh, when the spring is at its natural length it apply no force on the object in contact with it or attached to it so we can say whenever spring is elongated or compressed it apply a force which is equal to k times its elongation or compression and the natural tendency of the spring is to come at its natural length which is l not in this case okay the spring apply equal and opposite forces on the objects connected at its opposite ends so the objects are wall and block so it will apply equal and opposite force on both again in this so let's say it is stretched by a distance x so the final length is l not plus x now the force on this block by spring because spring want to contract to its natural length so it will apply a pulling force which is kx on the block again the force on the wall will also be towards this again this force will try block and walls uh, so that the length of the spring will become natural again so this force will be kx and again we can say these are the forces on block by spring on block by spring this is on wall by spring and the equal and opposite forces will be applied by these two objects this is newton's third law we will study it in detail kx and kx but this force is on spring by wall and this force is on spring by block okay similarly when the spring is compressed it try to along it back and pushes the objects kx and the 
pores on the wall will also be kx okay enjoy these these are the forces we generally use tension normal reaction weight and spring force 